What is good, fellas? What is good? It's your boy, J.U. here with another video for y'all, man. So I was talking to this dude the other day. I was telling him about my travels, um, places that I'm going coming up next and stuff like that. And he was just telling me, like, he would love to go to Sasua. He would love to go to the DR, but his girl ain't having it. He said if his girl found out, she she already know what, what goes on out there in some of these places. So he can't go because his woman wouldn't let him go, man. To me, I think he need to get some more balls, man. I think he need to get some more balls. And I think his woman is wrong for not letting that man travel. And I'm about to tell you why. So let's get into it. The first reason your woman is wrong if she don't let you travel, whether it's your girlfriend, your wife, she she doesn't respect you, man. I feel like a woman that doesn't let a man be a man, doesn't let a man make his own choices, or if she's trying to control you and um, tell you things that you can't do, I feel like your hierarchy is messed up. To me, I feel like, okay, the woman, she should be submitting to you and you should be submitting to God. So I feel like if she's got say or any control over your actions now don't don't get me wrong like that's your woman she she's your closest confidant she's the one you lay next to at night so you know you're gonna take her opinions and her feelings into consideration you're gonna take those things into consideration but they should not be directing your life you should be directing your own life as men, we don't want to be living life in a, a cage of not wanting to step on anybody's toes or you don't want to be that in that in that cage of, oh, I can't do this because this is going to make somebody feel some type of way. And that's just not your girlfriend. That goes for your partners, your your family members, even even your mother. If you feel like something is on your purpose or you need you just we are men, we got a natural need for exploration and adventure so you feel like you need a little bit of that of your life and you found a certain place that yeah might be known for having women there and all these different things to me you need you need to take that step and go now really the number one reason why a woman want wouldn't want her man to go is because she know he might find better and she knows she ain't up to par or she knows that that it's possible that she might lose that man from him traveling to these places and seeing that, yeah, it might be a better situation, a better opportunity for himself in these other places. And women, yeah, they're scared of that big time. They are scared of that big time. And rightfully so, because a lot of them, they know they ain't up to par. They know they ain't the best that they can be when it comes to being in a man's life and stuff like that. And instead of being, Instead of being willing to make the actual changes so they can become a woman that a man will want to have in his life long term, no matter what. Oh, I can go to Sasua, I can go to Santo Domingo, I can go to Cartagena, I can go to Rio, I can go to all these places, but I still understand, hey, I got a good thing at the crib, so I'm, I'm cool and I ain't going to really be doing too much extra stuff out here. When that dude was telling me that, I'm like, dang, a lot of men these days really they really believe that or they really are scared to make these moves that they want to make in life, which is, is sad. I know most of y'all on this channel, y'all either single or y'all got a situation, y'all still do what y'all do. So most of y'all over here don't even need this information. But I realize like, yo, it is a lot of a lot of brothers that would like to take a trip to DR, you know, test the water, see, see what the beach like and things like that. But because of the passport bros movement and all that stuff it is more widely known to women that yeah guys some guys yeah some guys do go to these places for sex and things like that but that's not all of all of the men that are going there and to me she should not be so much worried about what you're doing with yourself instead be worried about what she's doing with herself so she can keep her situation because if you're one trip to Sasua away from or Cartagena or whatever you're one trip away from not being in a relationship then you probably shouldn't even be in that relationship a lot of this stuff it seemed like it would be common sense it seemed like most men would know these things it seems like men nowadays are becoming definitely becoming more feminine and definitely becoming more emotional and just more control like we got everything over here in america trying to control us the government the, 
the jobs, the, the women, and I feel like more men need to take that step, go out, see something different, come back with new knowledge, come back with new standards, and come back with a new mindset, man. It change your life. Yeah, man, just wanted to make that quick video just in case there's any other guys out in the world that's teeter tottering on the line. Like they they watch this content, this type of content all the time, but not really trying to take that step because of this or that or this other situation. And you gotta understand, it's never gonna be a perfect time for anything. Like video, like content, whatever whatever you want to do in like travel, it doesn't matter. It's never gonna be a good time. Or a perfect time, I should say. It's never going to be a perfect time, but that shouldn't stop you. The best time to go was yesterday. The best time to book your flight was last month. So you're not going to do it this month because of that same girl that's getting on your nerves. You crazy. But yeah, man, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I hope it made some people think a little bit. As always, like, share, comment, subscribe. I do got more vlogs on the way for y'all waiting on those. Yeah, man. As always, love y'all. I'm out.